Donald Trump violated gag order multiple times when I said this is an absolute violation. Conservatives on social media push back. You don't know the law. It's not a violation. And now that the judge has said it is a violation, conservatives are saying the judge doesn't know the law. <laughs> this was not a violation. Okay, put it a full mass. What's going to happen to Trump, even though he has now violated the gag order against the judge? Really? Not a damn thing. Judge Juan Merchant ruled Tuesday on the gag order against former President Donald Trump, finding that he did, in fact, violate the original gag order. Not one time, not twice, not three, nine times. He has nine violations of a judicial gag order. So Trump was fined a whopping $1,000 per violation and ordered to take the offending social media post down by 2.15 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Trump was fined a total of 9,000 bucks in order to take down seven offending posts from social media and two from his campaign website. Judge Merchant also warned that further violation may possibly perhaps could result in incarceration. Quote, therefore, defendant is hereby warned that the court will not tolerate continued willful violations of his lawful orders and that if necessary and appropriate under the circumstances, it will impose an incarceratory punishment. Put his picture back up, the judge and Trump. Stop it, I say. Stop it. If you're not going to lock him up as you would do any other defendant who violated your gag order, judge, just stop it. Because you're making him seem like a deity to his followers. If you're not going to enforce it in a significant way, stop handing them out. Also, when someone violates your gag orders in a routine way, judge, you do have a history. You are able to simply say they got to sit in jail for an hour or two, maybe 24. Tuesday's ruling does not apply to the alleged four new instances, new instances of possible violations that prosecutors raised in court on Thursday. A separate hearing is scheduled for May 2nd for those violations. Merchant, the judge, had instructed Trump not to publicly comment on court personnel or witnesses. And prosecutors argued Tuesday that he had done so on at least 10 occasions. Once again, judge, you are in charge of that courtroom and you are in charge of the safety of your staff. You are in charge of the safety of witnesses. You are in charge of the safety of that jury. He's testing you. He's testing you, sir. This is his way. At some point, I'm hoping that Trump runs into someone just as egotistical as he is. Put it up full mass. Eight violations prosecutors argued were committed by Trump on truth social post in which he went after the judge. He went after the judge's daughter. He went after the former lawyer who is a witness for the prosecution, Michael Cohen and others. So I'm going to say this, Judge. Um, I don't have much faith in your ability to stand up for the rules that you set because the man talked about you, I get it. Man talks about a witness, you give him a slap on the hand. But the man talked about your child. And you're still talking about possibly, if you keep doing it, I may lock you up. During the hearing on the gag order, uh, the gag order issued by Merchant in late March specifically prohibits Trump from making or directing others to make public statements about potential witnesses in the case. The jurors and the family members of the court staff or counsel in the case, among others, not including Merchant himself. During the hearing on the gag order last Tuesday, Merchant admonished Trump's lawyer, Todd uh, Blanche, who attempted to justify multiple uh, Trump posts that the prosecution alleged violated the gag order. You're losing all credibility with the court. Is what the judge said. The commitment came in response to the attorney's claim that his client was trying to comply with the gag order. The attorney tried to argue that Trump's post was simply political attacks, were simply political attacks, and that Trump was only trying to defend himself against 
his political opponent when he could not present specific examples of political attacks. The judge became impatient according to reports in the courtroom and told the attorney, quote, you've presented nothing. I've asked you eight or nine times. The attorney defends Trump in the gag order evidentiary hearing. He says, no, your honor, Trump was simply responding to political attacks. Judge says, okay, can you show me what political attacks he was responding to? You see, that would have been the simplest, most direct way to provide an ounce of justification for Donald Trump. But there was not. Trump just decided to do it. His attorneys cannot control him. And it looks more and more like this judge is incapable as well. All right, sharing thoughts here. Yeah, it looks that way because that's the way it is. Trump was actually sending out political attacks and threatening witnesses. Um, that's what he does. And you're right about this judge who hasn't apparently, and no, no other judge apparently has learned what I learned years ago as a single mom. My daughter had this little iPad that she just loved. And I took it from her one day and I put it on my desk and I said, and don't you touch it because you disobeyed mommy. And I mean what I say. Within 30 minutes, I heard a familiar tune from this show, Bubble Guppies. I'll never forget it. She had taken the iPad and she was back on it because time and time again, I had taken it, given it back. I threatened to take it, didn't. I can show you better than I can tell you. It's pro- it's probably too late when you're 80 years old or close to it, however old he is. He's never been held accountable a day in his life. Yeah. Who's going to show him instead of just telling him? Yep, there you go. There you go. All right, I promise we will have more updates about him violating gag orders and nothing happens. So.